Uh, Boucher Winery was actually built uh, in 1890s. It was a winery called Goretto Winery. I've been in the winemaking profession for 17 years now. A lot of the, the wineries that we talk to seem to think that the Parker generator was the best nit uh, nitrogen generator on the market and the rep was around here quite often and, and uh, we felt that it was the best uh, generator to go with and we've been pleased with that decision. Well, Sainsbury was created in 1981. Uh, I've been in the wine industry for now about 12 years. Yeah, we're very happy with uh, with the way um, um, you know the wine, with the way the wine behaves through bottling with a nitrogen generator, and uh, it's um, it has you know it hasn't shown any difference through analysis and through dissolved oxygen analysis. The dissolved oxygen pickup has has has, uh, has not increased. Well, I'm with Groth Vineyards and Winery. We're about 25 years old, family-owned winery. I've been in the wine business for uh, about 34 years. I actually started in 1973 at Robert Mondavi. We, we decided to go with the nitrogen generator from Parker, the, the Ballston, because we found that using doers and bottles uh, was a big inconvenience. We, we just decided to go to a system that would give us basically nitrogen 24 hours a day without having to be concerned about running out. My name is Harry Hakala and I'm at Perry Creek Winery here in the background. Uh, this is one of the 50 wineries that I actually bought a wine for. I have all my wine bottling equipment in a tractor trailer rig, which I take to wineries all over the state. I chose the Parker nitrogen generation system because of its small size and the fact that Parker has been around the business for a lot of years. The unit was very easy to install because all I had to do was actually hook my compressed air to the unit and it was ready to go. Uh, Van Rooten Winery, uh, we've been growing grapes in Lodi for over 50 years. I've uh, been here uh, now um, for three and a half years and uh, making some wonderful California Lodi wines. Before when we were uh, pur purchasing uh, bulk uh, nitrogen or, or uh, tanks, you know, they always learn about cost and uh, staying within a budget. But the uh, Parker, we were able to put it in line with our air compressor and have it up and running within uh, 30 minutes of it being delivered on site. Uh, we use nitrogen here at the winery for multiple types of things. We use it as a, an antioxidant. We use it for uh, uh, sparging tanks blanketing tanks. We use it in our bottling uh, facility for uh, capping our, our bottling or filling machine. We use the nitrogen in an orbit bottle sparger to actually purge the bottles of oxygen before they're actually filled. Okay. They, we use it there. Then after the bottles are filled, just before the bottles are corked and the vacuum is put in there, we also purge the bottles one more time, hit it with a little bit of nitrogen. It actually tends to bring that O2 pickup quite low, anywhere between 0.2 and 0.5% pickup at about 99% purity. Yeah, there's certain times here at the facility where we're actually bottling, racking, and sparging out uh, oxygen out of tanks all at the same time, and uh, the, the generator completely keeps up with all the demands of nitrogen that we need in the facility. When we were uh, using uh, uh, liquid nitrogen, we often, uh, in off, off an occasion, running out of uh, nitrogen, so production had to be stopped. Also, there's a storage uh, situation with high pressure cylinders around the winery. You have to keep them chained. OSHA comes out. There's an OSHA consideration, safety consideration there. So you can only pull gas out of a cylinder so fast, or it tends to ice up. Even with heated regulators, you can only pull so much. Well, with the added benefit of the nitrogen generator, I can actually go to a lot higher volume of gas, which does a lot better job on the O2 pickup. Exactly. One less thing to worry about here. Turn the switch on and it does itself. It doesn't even need an employee. Uh, with this device, we uh, know that uh, nitrogen is uh, uh, in uh, constant supply, just like the water you know, out of the faucet. We just simply run tubes uh, coming from the generator uh, to the bulldogs and, and can rack at the same time uh, as, as we're also bottling and sparging oxygen out of bottles. I run the nitrogen purity level at 99%. That seems to give me the lowest concentration of O2 pickup, which is of course very important to the winemakers. Being that we're bottling both red and white wines, the CO2 content varies. So being at 99%, 
I can usually guarantee somewhere between 0.2 and 0.5 percent pickup. I believe that nitrogen works just as well as argon. I've used uh, nitrogen in previous uh, wineries and um, for bottling specifically and there was never a problem. And of course the local representative was fantastic with regard to um, uh, helping us figure out the sizing we needed. Uh, he really understood the wine business and, and really had a sense of what it is we were looking for. And uh, you know, the volume capacity, generation capacity, and so on and so forth. And then of course, uh, just the concept of a nitrogen generator with regard to the lack of, of maintenance was, you know, great. Maintenance on the Parker system has been fabulous. It runs flawlessly. Uh, we perform maintenance about every, every 18 months, but you turn it off for about 30 minutes, replace the filters, and you're able to be back up and running in a short period of time. No delay, you shut down in your operation. Well, the cost saving was about a 14 month payback, uh, as, as, as we use a lot of nitrogen, and specifically for our racking, that's pretty much the biggest use. I would definitely recommend it. I mean, the nitrogen generator is one of the best tools we have in winemaking. So uh, it just made complete economic sense. It's going to pay for itself rapidly just by uh, being able to protect your wines and uh, allowing the winemakers to sleep at night.